Hi, friend. Welcome back to my news PH channel, where I bring you the latest and most exciting news about the newest additions to the Philippine military. Be strong. Be strong. The Philippine Navy has announced its offshore patrol vessel, Del Pilar class, has reached full operational capability after a four-year overhaul. For the past years, the Del Pilar class has been upgraded and provided with updated modern sensors, secondary weapon systems, and combat management systems. The government made an effort to upgrade the three vessels to keep them on par with their newer cousins, the Rizal class frigates. The BRP Gregorio del Pilar is the lead vessel of the Navy's del Pilar class patrols. The class, which includes BRP Ramon Alcaraz, PS-16, and BRP Andres Bonifacio, PS-17, was a former cutter fleet of the U.S. Coast Guard. They were delivered to the Philippine Navy between 2011 and 2016. With the upgrade works that are still ongoing, and as BRP Andres Bonifacio is still waiting for its complement of surface air search radar systems to be installed, many have asked if there are any plans to upgrade those ships' weapon systems to make them comparable to the Rizal-class frigates, and the answer is yes. Del Pilar-class vessels have a length of 378 feet, 115 meters, and are powered by Fairbanks Morse 38 TD 8-1-8. 1-2, cylinder diesel engines or Pratt & Whitney FT4A6 gas turbines. The class has a speed of 28 knots, 54 kilometers, 33 miles per hour. The patrol ships are armed with MK-38 Mod 3 25mm autocannons, MK-75 OTO Malara 76 62nd C Super Rapid Naval Guns, cannons, and M2HB Browning. 50 caliber machine guns the first offer was for the Del Pilar's to have a rail-type guided missile launching system. However, it is not definite if the offered system will use a twin or single-arm rail launching system like the MK-13 or the newer MK-22. Though the rail system belongs to an older variant of missile launching technology, it also offers versatility as its magazine can house harpoon anti-ship missiles and standard anti-air missiles, even rocket launch torpedoes, the same as vertical launching systems. The MK-22 is a lighter version of the older MK-13, and though it only holds 16 missiles, it can fit perfectly on the Del Pilar class. However, this system is only compatible with those US-made missile systems. Installing the rail system means one active ship will be out for quite some time, as installation of the magazine system alone will take a considerable time to be completed, a time that the Philippine Navy doesn't have as they have only a few ships available for patrol duties. Another concern regarding the rail launching system is the support factor. The United States has already scaled down its technical support for them, but since other navies are still using this, the Philippine Navy can seek support from those countries. However, if the rail-launched system is not possible for those Del Pilar's, the Navy can still seek tube-launched anti-ship missiles and short-range air defense systems in the same configuration as the current Rizal-class frigates. The other offer is a total upgrade of the Del Pilar's weapon systems. Though there are no definite details that were provided for this, we can surmise it will include missile systems, close-in weapon systems, torpedo launching systems, and even adding or upgrading the ship's fire control systems. But for this to be implemented, the Philippine government needs to first secure the approval of the United States government before any third-party systems are installed on those ships. 
Even though the Del Pilar class is transferred to the Philippines through foreign military sales, it is governed by the United States Arms Export Control Act, which has many provisions on arms transfers, and it's not only the United States that has these provisions but other countries that are providing excess defense articles. Can the Del Pilars use the Sea Star or Hazong anti-ship missiles that their Rizal class is using? Yes, they can. But as we said earlier, notification and approval from the United States government should be granted before any third-party systems will be installed and integrated on those former Hamilton-class cutters. It's up to the Philippine Navy if they are keen on adding another type of anti-ship missile system to their inventory, which is the Harpoon. Unless such approval for third-party systems is granted by the United States government, the Philippine Navy will be obliged to use U.S.-made missile systems on those Del Pilar class, which we believe the current leadership is not keen on as it will add another layer of logistical trail in their systems as the Navy also sought commonality.